New research has just been published into the phenomenon of spontaneous human combustion. Uh, that's when the human body appears to go up in flames without any apparent source for the fire. Biologist and author Professor Brian Ford has been researching the subject. Good morning to you, Brian. Um, Good morning to you. Yeah. Now, does spontaneous combustion definitely exist? I always thought it might be the stuff of, of sci-fi TV miniseries. It's a real proper thing, is it? Yes, it is, but you've asked the right question, because most people have concluded that it is a myth, because nobody could ever explain any mechanism by which it could possibly occur. That's always been the problem. Ah, so that also what have been, <coughs> been the previous theories, then? What, what have people tried to surmise about this? Oh, there have been so many of them, of strange forms of lightning. One of them was, and this will be known to everybody who goes camping and eats a lot of beans and is always told, don't fart into the fire, uh, you know, methane building up in the body. But I'll tell you, the main theory, Kate, was always alcoholism. People always said that people would drink too much alcohol, their tissues would become soaked in alcohol, and they'd become inflammable. And that's been the main theory. So what I did was to take pieces of pork, pork tissue, which, of course, is very similar to human tissue, and we soaked them in alcohol for a week. Neat alcohol, which even your most hardened um, alcohol aficionado listener is unlikely to be able to do. And at the end of that time, it won't burn. You cannot make tissue inflammable. So you've ruled but, that one out, then? That, that's, yes, not, was, that's not that's what it's about. That completely rules out the main theory. So what we did instead was this. And I've had this idea in mind for years and I've always expected somebody else to come up and publish it. I thought, there is a chemical in the body, acetone, nail varnish remover is what we know it has, and acetone is highly inflammable. If you get a bottle of industrial acetone, it says, make sure there's no static sparks, no naked lights. It's an intensely, highly inflammable liquid. And acetone is produced in all of our bodies in small amounts. But in some illnesses, the level of acetone increases. And you can smell acetone on people's breath. Sometimes alcoholics certainly develop it. So do people who are sticking to the Atkins diet. So do some forms of diabetics. So even do children when they're teething. You know, when you're not well, the levels of acetone increase. So I thought, I wonder if higher levels of acetone in the body would make the tissues inflammable, as alcohol doesn't. So we took some pork samples and we marinated them in acetone instead. And bingo, they go up like a firework. Oh my At goodness. the next stage we, was to create some scale model people and dress them appropriately and sit them in a chair and um, make them of tissue that had been in contact with acetone and then bring a light near them. And they go up like a rocket. <gasps> Wow, have you, have, you, have you got in touch with Robert Atkins of the Atkins diet? Have you let him know? Have, have you let him know there's the risk? I got a sneaky feeling he died, didn't he? Of over-dieting, possibly. Oh, how? Did you look into that? We simply decided to get some samples of tissues and treat them in this way because lots of people have argued in the past about various techniques, various methods, various processes, but nobody's ever found anything that you could demonstrate would work and that's what i wanted to do well uh brian it's absolutely fascinating and just to, just to reassure us it is very rare isn't it listen uh, anybody who suffers from ketosis when you have acetone on the breath <coughs> you haven't got much to worry about there have been 150 cases in the last 2000 years so it is vanishingly rare all right of, okay so no excuse of, for coming of, off that diet just yet for those reasons no but it's a fa fairly good reason to give up smoking i would think if you're liable to suffer from ketosis okay well there we go professor four thank you that was fascinating i was it instantly to. doing the blowing into your hand oh, trying to smell I know, your it's own awful <laughs> isn't it yeah mm. what a shocking shocking surprising, statistic. Yeah. Isn't it? Surprising. odds are still quite good from what you've seen yes exactly <laughs> you still can probably keep on with the diet <laughs> caroline's coming with the back pages i'm not going to talk about spontaneously combusting although